Hi everyone. So uh, last time we have had our discussion about uh, chemical equation. So for now we are going to have sample problems on how to balance chemical uh, equation. So of course as a um, review we are going to follow the law of conservation of mass which is uh, the number of atoms should be um, always equal from the of the number of atoms in the reactants and in the product side so uh, for now let us have uh, sample problems um, about uh, balancing equation so uh, after which the part three of this uh, video presentation would be the types of the chemical equation so such as we have synthesis or combination we have also um, another type which is uh, decomposition and uh, uh, we have also single uh, replacement and uh, of course double displacement then, no? or double displacement um, type of chemical reaction and also uh, we are going to have um, combustion also wherein we are going uh, to add heat in any chemical uh, reaction so for uh, this uh, morning or for this uh, lesson again here are uh, some of the examples of how to balance chemical equation as the continuation of our past topic so part two please watch h8 plus oxygen oxygen gas that will give us carbon dioxide and hide um i mean two atoms of hydrogen and oxygen or uh, that is water okay now so when we see the uh, equation like this you can write all the elements first of the reactants so you have to uh, count the number of atoms of the reactants and the product so in this case you are going to write um, the element uh, C which is carbon no, so it has an atom of three of the reactant. Now, uh, we, when uh, checking on the product, so we have only one atoms here of carbon. So of course you are you are going to write hydrogen also that it has eight atoms there in the reactants, and here in the product. Um, it has only two atoms of hydrogen and of course the last uh, element there is um, oxygen that it has two atoms and uh, if you are going to check the number of atoms here in the product side um, on the oxygen so if you can see plus sign there you are going to add the atoms included in that um, equation so for this um, oxygen has two plus one atom here so all in all that is three so what you're going to do is to check and uh, and balance the elements on the reactant side and the product so following the rules you are going to start with the non-metals if you can see meat metals metals first then ions then uh, followed by uh, carbon hydrogen and uh, last uh, element that you're going to balance is oxygen so in this case we can see that there is a carbon no so that is um having an element uh, an atom of three in the reactants and here it has only one so how can you balance this no so what you are going to do is to write coefficient again there are uh, numbers that are written before each chemical formula is what we call coefficient 
Okay, so in order to balance carbon here, what you are going to do is to add um, a number 3 here for, for um, the carbon to be balanced. Okay, so in this case, balance na po ang ating uh, carbon. And then uh, for hydrogen here, that is, um, again, on the reactant side has 8. So, you have to check here. So, in order to balance the equation, no? so what you are going to do is to add 4, coefficient 4 here. Um, then, you have to multiply the number of atoms. So, multiply it with the coefficient. So, since we have 2 um, hydrogen atoms here, multiplied by 4. So, again, ang... Uh, two atoms natin, natin dito will become 8. Okay, so balance na po ang ating uh, carbon and then hydrogen. So, again po, ang last po natin na ibabalance po ay ang uh, oxygen. So, in here, so, since 2 lang po ang ating, carb, uh, ang ating oxygen sa reactant side, dito naman po sa ating uh, ating Ang ating oxygen naman po dito sa uh, product side is uh, being affected with the coefficient. So, again, so yung number of atoms you are going to multiply. No? What you are going to do is to multiply the coefficient of the atoms that it has on the product side. So, since we have 2 here, multiplied by 3, that is all in all 6. And then, of course, aut automatically, this oxygen here has 1 atom, multiplied by 4, that is um, 4 times 1. So, we'll, it will give us 4. And then, plus, so we have 6 oxygen here. So, all in all, our oxygen has 10 atoms. Now, what you are going to do is to balance the oxygen on the uh, both sides. So, in order to get 10, so you are going to write 5 here, multiplied by the number of atoms of oxygen, which is 2 po. No? So, 2 times 5, 2 here will become 10. So, in that case, all elements that are written on the reactant side has the number of uh, um, atoms also in the um, product side are all equal. So, you can see there, you can check. So, carbon has uh, 3 atoms. Hydrogen has 8. So, okay. Oxygen po has 10 atoms all in all. So, in that sample, we can say that uh, it is balanced. Now, if that, if in that case, if that um, equation is balanced, therefore, our equation is following the law of conservation of mass. Since we are going to conserve the number um, of atoms in the reactant side should always be equal to the number of atoms on the product side. So, in that case, our equation is correct. So, uh, the solution is good. Okay? So, say another example. Okay? Another example here is iron. Is reacting on oxygen gas okay that yields this equation okay so these are all uh, the elements no that uh, we are going to balance so that is the equation in that case you have to write all the elements so iron first and then oxygen. So we can see that we have uh, two different elements here. Okay. So for iron, it has one atom automatic. Yan. And then for in this product side, so the iron here has two atoms. And so for oxygen, it has two. And the oxygen here has three. Now, 
So, what you're going to do is to balance the equation. So, again, you can write coefficients before each uh, chemical formula. So, since we have here iron on the product side has 2. So, again, you have to write or you have to uh, write the coefficient 2 here in order for us to get 2 atoms of iron. Okay, so 2 times 1 is 2. So, the iron here is already balanced. For oxygen, we have here 2 atoms in the reactants and 3 atoms in the uh, product side. So, uh, in this case, you are going to write the least common factor among them. So, in this case, ang least common factor of 3 and 2 is 6. So, in order for you to get that least common factor, since ang ating um, oxygen gas in the product side is having three atoms, so what you're going to do is to add, uh, to write the coefficient 2 there. So, oxygen will now be 6. So, so 2 times 3 will give, give us 6. And then, of course, here, you are going to write also 3 to balance the equation. So, 3 times 2, it will give us 6. However, our um, iron here is being affected with the coefficient 2 here. So, the iron here will become 2 times 2, it will become 4 number of atoms. So, instead of 2 coefficient that is written a while ago here, so what you are going to do is to add or to write for, for the equation to be balanced. So, since uh, we have already balanced the equation, again, our equation is now following the law of conservation of mass, uh, which is the number of atoms are equal, are all equal. Okay? So, can you follow? Now, here is another um, example. Okay. I have here 